nowadays, um, everything in photography is, is digital, at least that's the standard. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are photographers, fine art photographers especially, that still use film. Um, but film has now become very expensive because it's so rare. So uh, we teach to the standard, you know, to the modern day. Sure. And um, students are using digital cameras, digital, digital photography, and they're editing uh, those photographs using digital tools. In fact, they call it, nowadays they call it the digital darkroom. Yeah. And so it's, it's, it's the equivalent of doing that same sort of thing. You mentioned, and, and then she mentioned, the particular tablet called a, a Wacom tablet. Uh, um, Correct. Does that have to function with a computer? Is it specifically um, connected to a computer? It doesn't, it doesn't, you don't draw on it by itself. No, not the tablets that we're using. The like, tablets. Like, like I'm thinking of, a, of an iPad where you actually right. you know, create on the iPad. Right. It's a little different from drawing on the iPads, like, like the middle school kids are doing with the styluses. Um, at the high school level with desktop computers or laptops, they actually plug in the tablet uh, via USB port. Some of, we also have Bluetooth, so they could do it wirelessly if they want. Our wow. latest tab tablets have that capability. Um, and she mentioned uh, high-end cameras that are and, available. And high-end cameras, yeah. We were using Nikon DSLRs, and, and those can be used to take still photographs and, and motion video. And, and Ms. Marmorelli mentioned that she's um, going to be having some students make some movies this year, too, mm -hmm. which is very forward-thinking. Yeah. Well, we did get to hear from some of the kids, so let's hear from them. Yeah. I'm taking this class because um, in the future, I would like to be in a photography job, and I felt like this would prepare me the best because she teaches me Photoshop, she teaches me how to use the cameras, and she goes into very elaborate detail about everything. Before this class, I only had um, experience in 2D art and uh, 3D art, and I had minimal experience with my phone, but this class really taught me everything I know, which is a lot. I've learned so much about Photoshop. I I've gotten so familiar and good with it that I can make edits in minutes because she just has taught me so well and it's so amazing. And she's taught me completely how to use a camera. When I walked into this classroom, I had no idea how to even handle one. And now I know how to handle it, I know how to film, I know how to keep it stabilized, everything I need to know. Right now I'm in an internship program that works with photography. And after this, I would like to try and start applying to jobs that work with it. Um, such as studios or just trying to make connections with photographers and people who need photographers. Surrealism is my favorite. Um, I think it's my favorite because um, it's just so weird and like you can express your emotions in it. And I always like, I put secret things in it and nobody will get them but me. I think it's just a really good program for anybody who wants to um, pursue art in a different way than most taught in like other schools and I think that it's more creative or you have more access to things and access to um, resources. We learned how to use Photoshop. We did a unit with Lightroom as well um, and iMovie and we learned how to use these programs to do natural editing, so professional editing in terms of um, using or editing for businesses. Um, and things like that. And then we also learn the creative aspect of it. So how to make movies, how to make um, creative surreal art, and how to use our, or how to tap into our creativity to create uh, artworks. Not a lot of people take it. There's only two class periods. Um, I think not a lot of people know about it. Um, but because of that, the somewhat smaller courses allow us to get one-on-one -on -one teaching with the teacher. And she's amazing at teaching us how to use these uh, programs so that we actually understand what we're doing and we can go home and use this in our actual lives. Um, I have gotten internships over the summer at some businesses um, in regards to creative directors and uh, production. And along with that in this class, I've found that I am really enjoying this and that it's something that really interests me. I've been working in digital design here at the, at the high school for a while. And I had learned from a few friends there was a photo class here. So I wanted to take that so I could improve my photo taking skills and Photoshop uh, management. And my spare time, I like to create um, logos and um, backdrops, uh, such as the thumbnails to videos and things like that. I've learned so much about um, angles and um, how to like not take things in just portrait, but to get the camera lower to the ground or take it from this angle or um, try out this new thing and um, 
we've been working with surrealism recently, and that really helped me figure out what to do. Um, as an artist, I, I do really like surrealism. It allows me to uh, explore the weirder side of art and have things like um, literal fish uh, tanks, tanks with fish gills and fins and things like that. And I get to create images that normally I wouldn't wouldn't really make sense in the real world. And when I show them to people and they have so many questions and that's always what I aim for. Wow, what a powerful tool. Uh, and, and these kids are so eloquent and, and expressing their, their ideas. Very well spoken, very creative. Yeah.